I heard your screams, everybody. I went back to Diglett Cave the second I realized that there is Arm Dragon level three in Diglett Cave. Um, he took like five encounters for me to find him. Off screen, obviously. So, um, how do I catch him? In a dream ball. <laughs> I want him in a dream ball. Um, I lost Formation Z. He was not fast enough for some things. Summon Skull can Thunder Wave him. That's probably the best idea here. I want an Arm Dragon level three. I want to be Chaz. I want him on my team. Obviously not my whole team. I just want Chaz's freaking Arm Dragon. So freaking cool. How could I not want it? Look at him. He's awesome. Look at that little guy. How could you not want him? All right, Arm Dragon level three. I got to be super careful. I do not want to kill you. You resist electric. Okay, good. You're a dragon type. That makes sense. Okay. Let's just do this. You resist electric. Yeah, that didn't do too much. I think even with a crit, it couldn't kill you. Because I want you just low enough. Don't you dare get a crit, though. Just, like, get him to half health. And then, because I want you to be a team member, we're going to try a dream ball to find out what your dream ability is. And I probably won't look for you again, because um, I didn't find you the first time I came through here. And uh, finding you the second time took five attempts. So, let's just dream ball you real quick. Put you in the dream ball. There we go. Yeah! Arm Dragon level 3 has been caught. Alright, and it's a female Arm Dragon level 3. Summon Skull he hits level 20 off of that. This is going to be a fun episode. Um, I don't care what type it is. I don't care what it does. It's going to join the team. A baby dragon too young to fend for itself. It's still learning how to growl. It knows how to growl, I'll tell you that. Arm Dragon level 3, you will be getting a nickname. We're going to call you, um, your female... I'm going to call you... I don't think it matters if you're female. We're going to call you... It's easy. You're Arm Dragon. When you evolve, this name makes more and more sense. You're the Shredder. Yeah. You're Shredder. All right. Now that I've done that, we're going back to the SSN. So let's get let's get our butts over there. But we're joining... That, that thing's joining the team. That's a freaking Arm Dragon level 3. You think I'm going to ignore it? Like, literally, the second I found out that it was in that cave, I went back immediately. Immediately. You have no idea. I, I just flew back into that cave like, oh my god, there's something in here I actually want. Now, granted, we could take a look at all the things here. Let's see. We got Gear Freed, which is a fighting steel type. Yep, that's really cool. If you want yourself a... Uh, and he has sheer force. Wow. That doesn't work with any of his current moves, but that's still amazing. Uh, we have Early Bird, which is a bad ability for most people. Um, a normal flying type, that's fine. And we have Harpy's Brother, who gets Guts. That's really good. He's a normal flying type, but he gets Guts, so he's better. Uh, Ability-wise, although I guess she changes ability if she evolves. And Arm Dragon Level 3 gets Tough Claws! Yo! That's a really good ability! That is Dragon Steel! What the hell? Oh, boy. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Get on my team. You may only be level 14, but with a little training... Sorry, Baby Dragon with Al of D. You got us through the early game. You were amazing in the early game. Your ability was amazing, but... Look. Even though I do like Baby Dragon, I love Thousand Dragon, I love all that fun stuff. I prefer these guys. I prefer Arm Dragon level 3. That's something I'd actually use in a deck, and I probably have used in a deck in almost every Let's Play in which I, where I caught those cards. Um, the Arm Dragon family is super cool, and was one of the coolest things to watch on TV when I was a kid. Alright, let's do this first. Uh, Bug Bite, Covet, Metronome, Mudshot. What's physical that he might be able to learn? Probably Bug Bite. Nah, you can't Bug Bite. All right, because that guy, Arm Dragon, looked physical as hell. We should check their stats, actually. Um, Sand Tomb, Razor Shell. Not a lot of good moves. Maybe Low Kick? Nah, okay. That's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll check it out. Let's go to the stat checker to find out what we're working with. Hey, what we working with here? So, we already know you. We already know you. We already know you. Summon Skull, we remember now. 90 special attack, okay. X-Head Cannon is a special attack speedster. Oh, shit, his IVs are terrible. He's a special attacking speedster with no IVs in special attack or speed. That's a heartbreaker. Formation Z. 
Maybe we should check that other one in the box. <laughs> let's, let's look. This is the cruelest thing I could ever do to uh, one of these guys, but we could just... I, I caught another one, didn't I? Yeah. This one's adamant, which is a bad nature. But... And it, no, okay, Dream Ball was wasted. They all have static. But... Um... IVs, EVs are way, way better. I can live with mine then. It's fine. I'll, I'll be happy with my Exit Cannon. I know we're going to suffer, but I, I'm used to suffering. That's just another part of my day. So, let's go ahead and look at our team. Look at this. This is a hard team for me to drop, but if I find anything cooler than these members, someone will have to somehow get dropped, because I love every one of my team members so far. The hell is Dexnav? Oh! Oh, I forgot. You could just do this. Yeah. Oh, that's how you get to your PC. I'm an idiot. Oh, I apologize. Uh, well, Dexnav, in the water, we can find... Hey, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. If you would like one of those members, go go in the water. Granted, I'd need a good, uh, good rod to be able to pull that off. Plus, I'd have to make a decision on my team members on who I'm willing to drop. <laughs> if I were to add another water type. Trust me, I have a ticket, dude. I'm just going to come onto your ship. And then I'm going to go onto the top of the ship. Alright. There we go. I have made a little bit of a heal situation. Very nice. And we... I would love to train Arm Dragon level 3, but... Oh, you know what? I didn't check TMs. That's my mistake. I did stat check... I didn't even do stat scanner on it, did I? Did I even get to Arm Dragon level 3? Alright, Arm Dragon level 3 is a special defensive attacker. Okay, I, it doesn't matter. It could be the worst Pokemon in the game. I wouldn't care. I want to use Arm Dragon level 3. I don't care if it has the same stats as a Farfetch'd. It's getting used. Alright, let's see what we got. We got Water Pulse, Roar, Bullet Seed, Dig. It is a physical attacker, so Dig could be good. Rock Tomb is good, so it's going to learn that. It's a dragon steel type, so I need to learn a physical dragon move and a physical steel move. I already have Metal Claw, so that's a good sign. Metal Claw's a good sign. Bite's pretty good too, honestly. So you already have some decent attack, Shredder. That's the good news. Um, bulldoze. Better than Dig, in my opinion. Oh, you can learn Power Up Pit. That is more interesting to me. For you to learn Power Up Pit than it is for you to learn Bulldoze. Although, since you're not that fast, Bulldoze is probably the better move. But Rock Tomb is the same thing, but Rock Tomb does, um... Hmm. Rock Tomb beats different types. What are we weak to? Let's think. We're weak to ground, we're weak to fire. No, we're not even weak to fire. Dragon type. Dragon Steel's good. Uh, we're weak to fighting. Bulldoze is not gonna be a problem when it comes to fighting types. This is tough. This is tough. We're weak to ground, and we're weak to fighting, so... If I have a rock move, that doesn't beat anything that we're weak to. A ground move, at least they don't resist it, so... There's that. And we can't possibly miss Bulldoze, so we're just gonna go with this. Although, if we happen to fight a flying type, I'm gonna be upset with myself. Let's just go. And he's not even gonna be fighting just yet. We're gonna... We're gonna let the training go to... Who's up front right now? Not Butterfree. Let's go with x Head Cannon, yeah. x Head Cannon needs the training. Hey, they didn't change that. Hyper Potion's still there. Alright, good to see. I'm just gonna take your item from you. Haha! <laughs> Worse than a Hyper Potion. And I also robbed you. <laughs> He's like, barging into my room is not polite. Yeah, I also robbed you. You forgot about that part. Or you're too scared to bring it up. Alright, come on. My Sailor's Pride is at stake. Wait, is this a double battle? Can you do a double battle? Because I don't know if you could double battle these guys. You could! Okay! Well, shit. Who's he going to be working with? Panther Warrior! Whoa! Panther Warrior's tight. Whoa, he's really high level. Slow start. Oh, that's the worst ability ever. Why would you do that to Panther Warrior? Oh, shit. That's a grass type. I don't really have anything for that. Uh, you charge beam that, and then you suck against grass types. However, Bulldoze would hurt your friend. It doesn't say... It does say, yes. You know what? Try to kill this thing off since the other guy's got a slow start. Draw your Mega Kick. Yeah! Ura B. D2B. Best guy ever. 
D to B, formation Z, good job. Charge beam, it missed, of course. It's 90 accuracy and it missed. Slow start makes them terrible, though. That is still a lot of damage. What is Panther Warrior's stats? Toon Alligator! Oh, if I caught Alligator's sword, use the Toon Stone. Yep. Now, that's probably a water type. Yep, that is a water type. That's for you. Um, you, on the other hand, try to give that guy a tantrum. Bad tantrum. Let's see how tanky he is. He is pretty tanky in the... Oh, my God. Slow start, be damned. He's strong. Oh, crap. He learns a ground move. Oh, Formation Z is going to die. And my speed dropped. Formation Z is not going to survive this fight. I'm trying to train him, and he's dying. Okay, that's nice that you got the buff, but you know what you didn't get? You didn't get to survive. They bu they bullied the crap out of you. All right, you know what? Um, slow start. Got his act together. That's horrifying. Um, you know what? Let's just go red eyes. I'm not going to mess around. I know that guy's a water type, but I could care less. Let's just go ahead and incinerate our opponents and bulldoze. Oh, you're flying, right? Yeah, bulldoze our opponents. Double hits. Perfect for double battles. Beautiful. Well, that was a fight. <laughs> that was a fight. I didn't expect Panther Warrior to have slow start. It broke out a slow start much faster than I realized, and it did good. Sorry to exit can. I'm trying to train you real not realizing you would just die there. We're gonna have to go back and heal him. Oh wow, they have another Pokemon. What is it? Baby Drag Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Don't make me do it to the baby. All right, baby dragon, time to die. There's a rock tomb. It's just... I'm just going for weak moves. I'm not trying to be a dick. Oh, it didn't matter. None of this mattered. Level 28. All right, Urubi, let's see what you get. Any new moves? No. Get my hopes up for nothing. Your spirit sank me. Good battle, mate. Good battle to you, too. I'm sad you killed my X-Head Cannon, but uh, they, they're going to need a lot of time. Look, I'm going to do everything I can for that X-Head Cannon. They're going to get stronger. It's going to be great. Alright, we'll take a little rest. I'll be fine. Everyone's refreshed. And we're going to give X-Head Cannon another shot up front. Obviously, Charge Beam is not the most reliable move, but it's the only move we got. So, he's going to use it. Oh, hello there. I like feisty kids. Oh, it's you. Yeah, you're the one that's on Crump's level of creepy. Okay. Little Wingard. Okay. That's a normal type, right? Formation Z might actually be able to fight you. You know about my magnet now, of course. All right. Charge Beam is the only move we actually have that does decent damage. Damn, that hurt. Formation Z is not as tanky as he needs to. He needs to be tankier. This is not tanky enough. And we did not get the special attack boost. And that is not good. Oh, there it is. Okay, I feel a little bit better now. Roll out, it'll take too long now. He should have started the fight with it. The quick attack did a shit ton, though. Alright, X-Head has won one battle. With a guy who is equal level to him. But now he's double special attack up, so that's really good. Formation Z's getting stronger. Wadapon, I don't care. Formation Z's got two special attacks up. Plus, I highly doubt that thing is scary. It's probably weak. Take a double damage uh, charge beam. Damn it, it took it. <laughs> I didn't actually mean take it. Oh, shit. I don't have any other attacks. This guy can't learn shit. Sonic Boom. Haha. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Boom is guaranteed 20 damage, so that's not great. Well. No! I would have been perfect against her, but because I don't, I'm, I'm locked. I'm disabled, so I can't even do it. It has to be Summon Skull. Alright, Two Mermaid. So if you caught a Red Archery Girl and used the Toon Stone, you most likely would get this. Toon Mermaid. Oh, okay. She doesn't look perfectly drawn, but we'll give her a break. Shockwave. Oh, you're fast. You're a very fast Toon Mermaid. I do like, the t I like how the clam looks. I like his eyeballs at the top. That's kind of funny. All right, there we go. There we go. Her face was the only problem. It has a little bit weird. Like, the eye shaping is a little weird. I think it's fine. It looked fine. All right, Aether goes through. Then let's get out of here. My team's a little weak. I should go back and heal. But instead, we're just going to bag in potion. Because when else am I going to use them? Do I even have potions? I have no all my potions. Hey, this new super potion I picked up. There you go. 
I was hoping a normal potion you, but we don't have any. Alright, anybody else? Damn you. Even us sailors have Pokemon too. Alright, let's see your Yu-Gi-Mons take on mine. I got the Mighty x Cannon. Cannon. I'm hoping you have water types. Damn it, that's the opposite. That's a grass type for sure. Alright, not a good fight for Formation Z. Um, grass probably wouldn't do anything to Shredder, but Shredder is not really ready for his first fight yet. Summon Skull is not a good matchup for him either, so we're just going to go ahead and send out, uh, Butterfree! Alright, Butterfree takes a bite, is happy enough, no problems. Just going to wing attack, I'll one-shot it. No worries. Butterfree does its job. Formation Z, Butterfree. The rest of the team, Summon Skull. There we go. Shredder, there we go. A lot of HP, that's about it, okay. Home Claws, it's not the worst move in the world if you plan on using low accurate moves and want to buff yourself, but it's not for me. Parrot Dragon, don't know much about Parrot Dragon. If it's a Dragon type, it's a bad matchup for my Electric types. Um, still going to probably use Summon Skull, though. And if it's Dragon type, it's probably a bad matchup for my Dragon type. Even though, no, I'm Dragon Steel, I'm actually a really good typing. It's freaking Dialga, for crying out loud. Oh, you're not a... Oh, you're probably Dragon Flying. That's why this does normal damage. Um, I don't know if you're a special attacker, but this will let me know. Special attack down, yep. That's a physical attack, but I'm electric typing, so I don't care. And Shockwave's guaranteed to kill. Summon Skull's a very handy guy to have around. There we go. Summon Skull, do your job. Okay, you're not bad. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go over here. I found more ethers. Hooray. I'm going over here. Final door. Huh. Fishermen's. Maybe I'll finally have a chance of fighting water types. Literally, I'm hoping for the water types because I have an electric type that needs training. Can you please have water? Archery girl? That counts. That's a water type. She's not fully evolved yet. I like you know what I like the tune form better. This lo this looks like the card art. Don't get me wrong, this is very good, but the tune form actually looks cooler. So let's just go with Charge Beam. Just a bubble. I think you know what you know what they really messed up on the tune form. They didn't mess up on this form. The freaking uh, the bow and arrow, like the bow on the other form looks bad. All right, Charge Beam. But the other form, I like the eyes on the the clam. That's kind of nice. There we go. Formation Z gets the kill. He really needs the experience, although he took way too much damage from freaking bubbles. We're, we are not tanky enough. Alright, Formation Z, you're level 19 now. That should make you a little bit stronger. Three special attack up! Yes! That's a beautiful sign. That means you can actually hit people now. Frog the Jam. That has to be a joke Pokemon. We shouldn't be in any danger. Probably weak to Charge Beam. It is, and it's our only attack anyway. So with all the buffs, it's super effective. It's stab. We have magnet. It's dead. Thank you. There's literally nothing that should be helping that thing survive at this point. Tadpole. Oh, Tadpole's cute. Okay. Tadpole's a little cutie. If you want a Tadpole, go catch one. Oh, shit. It's faster than me. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. It almost killed me. If I missed this charge beam, we would have been forced to switch. That's embarrassing. Formation Z kills the baby tadpole. I assume tadpole evolves into one of the frogs, probably Beel's a frog, and then into Des Frog or something like that. It might have that kind of a route to it. Oh, there's still one guy left. We'll just switch. We'll just switch. It's fine. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. I don't think I can lose. I'm sorry. Three of my members are still part of my original team. The other three are new, granted, but the, the other three you're not ready for. All right, Mystic Tomato, I'd like you to meet my Scarlet, my Red-Eyes Black Dragon. There's not much you could do to Scarlet, but I'm happy for you to meet them. Yes, let's do a four times resisted absorb. That's one damage, isn't it? Yeah, that's one damage. Now let's show you the power of incineration. Hooray. <laughs> I did it. Scarlet is good. Our buddy Philip here is in a little bit of trouble. And let's go heal up our team. We're almost complete. We've almost completed the SSN. 
You don't have to do any, pretty much any of this stuff, but I like to train my team members, so this is what I always did when I was a kid, so I'm gonna do it now. I mean, the first time I played this, I didn't do this as a kid, but the second time I played Fire Red and Leaf Green, I did. I probably beat Fire Red and Leaf Green like 23 times when I was a child. And then after that, I, you know, started doing other stuff. Started getting my friends involved, and that, uh, that changed the whole game. My first Let's Play of a Pokemon game was Pokemon Leaf Green. Oh, they put items in here. Okay, a Spare Berry. I'm looking for Citrus, but that's fine. Ross Berry, I, like I said, I'm looking for a very specific one. Petra Berry, okay, I'm glad they put that there. Cherry Berry, that's all the classic berries. Um, Chesto Berry, yep, we're getting all the classics. I'll probably talk to the people, too. Oh, look. Okay, sorry, I'm running, so it's hard to keep track. The BS Gardener, the... Really? Hmm. I am Le Chef. Oh, you got barbecue? I love barbecue. I saw another berry in the trash. I wonder what that was. Dude, I already found it. Oh, a great ball. That might be nice to have. Out of the way, you get out of the way. Don't you dare tell me what to do. Alright, let's uh, let's just go upstairs now. We got all our stuff. Um, we gotta keep going upstairs if you want to fight more trainers. Who are you? Our captain is a sword master. He's awesome at using cut. That's pretty cool. When your pirate captain is a sword... Or sorry, not pirate. Weevil! What? You're not a gym leader? You're just a guy? How come Rex is a gym leader and you're just a guy? Uh-oh. He's gonna try and throw my cards into... He's trying to throw my cards overboard! This is the perfect place to put Weevil. I take it back. This was the perfect place to put Weevil. He's trying to throw my cards overboard. Petite Moth! Oh, it's a baby! I might actually be able to fight that thing. I use Charge Beam. I'm gonna use your freaking Yugimon to make me stronger. Oh, baby, I might be able to two-shot you. No, well, I'm already kind of slow, but I don't want to be slower than Petite Moth. I'm probably slower than Petite Moth now. You could do it, X-Head. Don't worry about it. Just a little tackle. Ain't no damage. Uh, kind of more damage than it should have been. All right, let's get your Charge Beam in there. Yes, get the special attack up. Don't forget that part. Shit, he forgot that part. Uh, insect princess, really? Yeah, that's okay. You 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 know what? It makes sense. That makes sense. You got an insect princess. Pin missile could be a lot of damage if I'm unlucky. Oh my god, I might die. I died. Shit. Go training you has been a problem, Formation Z. You have actually been a problem. Uh, bug types are really good against a lot of my stuff. Shredder might actually have a chance here. I didn't give him rock tomb. <laughs> Rock Tomb would have actually helped him quite a bit. Shredder. You know what? I'm going to try it. I know it's really risky, but let's see if Shredder, five levels down, with his ability, can take this girl on. Metal Claw, try to raise your attack. Well, that's a good sign if he's using Stun Spore, because that means he doesn't have many other options. Well, that's unlucky. Don't worry, Shredder. You'll get her. You should resist that, so it's fine. You know what? It's, it, Insect Princess hits like a truck. She might have better stat total than I thought. It's not. Okay. I get it, I get it. You're not made for this fight. My apologies. I'll use one of the OG3. I should probably revive my guy, though. Him not getting experience is a problem. She's probably going to try and paralyze me if I do this, though, but screw it. Uh, do I even have revive now that I think about it? I don't. Never picked up a revive in this game. Ah, that's fine. He, screw his experience. We'll get it later. Uh, incinerator. Yeah, she's pretty good. That, that's a pretty good Pokemon right there. I'm not even going to lie. That, that was tough, man, Weevil. You're a tough guy. I'm trying to throw my cards off. Larvae Moth, okay. You know what? If we can't use Shredder, and Summon Skull is a bad choice just because he's a dark type, uh, then yeah, let's send out good old Butterfree. Butterfree will show you the true power. This is what you're missing. You may have Insect Princess, who's actually pretty damn good. Is probably your boss monster. Now that I think about it, that Insect Princess was a little too good. She's probably your boss. You're probably just going to have a bunch of weak moths now in cocoons. The Shredder levels up. Yes. Great Oh, you have your own Great Moth. Okay, little Great Moth versus Great Moth action. Well, let me show you true power. It's just like Duelist Kingdom. All you could get to is Great Moth. You didn't get to perfect form until, you know, what was it? Battle City. 
couldn't achieve perfection. And that's it. So yeah, other than Great Moth, that that Insect Princess was pretty good. And now that I think about it, Insect Princess, probably evolves into Insect Queen. Yeah, your forms are just worthless. I'm sorry, Weevil. You've been beaten. Summon Skull! Yeah, good to see it. Ah, don't worry, Weevil. It must be the cheer that Rex told me about. Hey, maybe I can take your deck. Maybe I can't take your deck, but what I will take is this. Wait, wait, what? What? My leg? He took my... He took my leg of Exodia! Oh, you're in trouble now, Weevil. When I find you in Celadon, I'm breaking your legs. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go heal my team member. Shit. Big mistake there. Uh, Paradragon, I have Rock Tomb for people like you, so we're fine. Herbie, ground types learn Rock type moves to make up for the fact that they can't hit flying types. Oh, that's upsetting. That's actually upsetting. He took my piece of Exodia. I should have expected it. I don't know why I didn't expect that. That's on me. That's on me. I should have been able to predict that play. <laughs> what a good play in Yu-Gi-Oh! He, he took something out of my bag without my consent, and there was nothing I could do about it. Mystic Tomato, just real quick when you turn here. Just a real quick one. There we go. Great job, Great Moth. Great job. Alright, rest of my team gains a little experience. Scarlet's getting very strong. Very nice. You were a little careless? Don't worry about that, buddy. You know, I want that TM, though. Eh. Infestation's not really for me. I, I like it in the very early game of Pokemon, or, uh, yeah, Pokemon games. But until it's, then, unless it's the really early game, I'm not the biggest fan. You know what, for now, I'm a little too upset about what happened. I'm just going to heal, and then we're going to end it there. So, guys, next time we are going to finish off the SSM. We'll go everywhere. We'll beat up everybody. Hopefully, x Cannon can handle a few fights. He's been having a lot of trouble training. Um, Shredder, though, he got unlucky. He was just paralyzed. Other than that, he was doing great. Also, Bashful Nature is not bad because it's a neutral nature, so I get to take advantage of that. And IV-wise, it's not terrible. His speed's bad, but I don't think he'd be a fast, you know, Pokemon anyway. He's a steel type for crying out loud. Yeah, this is going to be good. So that'll be it. Bye-bye, everybody. See y'all next time.